So in the last video, we set it up to where we can add a firearm to our character. So I'm going to hit play and eject. You can see we're using the left hand IK to get the left hand position where we want it. And we have everything set up and good to go. So it looks good visually. Now what we want to do is we want to actually make it so we can aim. So to begin, I'm actually I kind of tempted. I want to try to switch the animation. So here we're using the normal. I want to switch it to use the iron sights so that way we can actually see the firearm because right now that is it's just way too low so if we head over here to the m4 here's the idle rifle hip that we have and let's search for idle again down here and here we have idle rifle iron sights let's plug that in and just see the difference okay so that's a little bit better however it is still it it's just too high so what we can do is actually try to make an animation that's kind of an in-between for these. And another thing we can also do is I'll show you here in a second to prevent that clipping. So let's go back to the idle hip and we're going to use that instead. Let's open it up. And what we're going to do is since we have a procedural sway system already, we don't need all of these keyframes moving everything around. So what we can do is we can clear it out all to one frame. So with that at the beginning, if we right click here, sorry down here what we can do is remove from frame 44 to 190 and just basically keep removing all of these frames frame from 0 to 1 and basically have our one frame animation here can't really remove anything farther and there we go so here's one frame and if we hit play that's all it is so what we're going to do is we can actually modify the pose. So if we grab the right hand here, uh, we don't have any sort of IK set up. So let's grab the lower arm. Let's try to rotate it on up a bit and get it positioned somewhat decently. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to grab the hand, rotate that down relatively straight. Doesn't need to be like perfect. Rotate it out a bit. The IK will correct it here. And I'm going to actually grab the upper arm, rotate that back a bit farther, rotate the lower arm up and out, rotate the hand in, and that should be okay. So there's our animation pose here. So what I want to do now is create the asset, create animation, current pose, and save it. So we're going to select the tutorial, and here I'm going to call it, let's do a tutorial, or A underscore tutorial, A for animation, underscore M4, and hit OK. So here's our animation, so we can close it down, and drag it over here. So let's search for M4. Here we have A tutorial M4, file and save, and let's just get a rough idea of where it looks like. So it's down here, so we need to actually move it up a good bit. So that's in a better position, kind of. We just need to move it. So now let's, we're going to do basically the exact same thing here. So we're going to grab the lower arm. And we're going to, actually this part, I guess I probably shouldn't have moved the upper arm like that. So let's move the upper arm a good bit up. We can lower the lower arm a bit and just position the hand. Now that might be in the camera view with everything in it. Let's go ahead and basically we're going to have to save it. So create animation, current pose again. And same thing, A tutorial for M4 2 or M4 test 1. So let's grab this guy and see if that's any better. So we have it down there. If I go into full screen view, you can just barely see it. So basically we need to move it, what seems like farther forwards for the pose. However, if we go farther forwards, it's just not gonna look right at all. So we're gonna continue just to go up. And I'm gonna keep adjusting these and I'll be right back once I have a good position. Okay, so I have a semi-decent pose here. Everything seems like it's okay. Now, the only thing that I want to actually change is going to be the head. 
and I'll explain the head as well because we're going to have to alter that too. So anyways, let's get the aiming set up so I can show you what I'm referring to when I mention we have to modify the head. So what we're going to do is add a event for the right mouse button. So if we search for right mouse button, again, this is in our character. We're going to grab our character component because, again, everything's driven through this. And we're going to search for start aiming. And then we're also going to have stop aiming as well. So when we press it, we start aiming. When we release it, we stop aiming. Let's see the result. So I aim, and as you can see, it does not go down, or sorry, it does not go to the center of the screen. Instead, it goes down and to the right. So I have uh, two ways right now that you can fix this. I'm hoping to have this actually resolve to where it doesn't matter, but I'll explain what's going on. Basically, it's due to the actual rotation of the head as to the why it's kind of canting this over. So if you look at the head, let's actually look at the animation. You can see the head is tilted down. So it's rotated down, it's not vertical. As well, it is rotated at an angle. So one, it's tilted, and two, it's rotated off. So what we need to do is we need to actually try to straighten the head the best that we can. And this will help us out in the actual animation as well. So if I move it that way a bit, and then I can rotate and all that kind of stuff. But I want to rotate the neck to be back a bit. So let's straighten the neck up. So that way we should have a better view of the firearm in first person as well. Go to the head, that relatively straight, and rotate it down a bit. So let's try something like this. That looks a lot straighter. So let's create the asset, create animation, current pose, and let's just do M4 test head. That'll be our animation. So we're going to grab our M4 test head, plug that in, let's look at it. Okay, so that's a good bit better. We just have to move it to where the reticle will be lined up straight to the, a little bit to the left. Up and down looks fine. So let's grab this, and we want to rotate it to a little bit straighter. So we're going to go about 4 degrees, and again, same exact thing, test head 2. So let's grab this guy, give that a try. And that is a lot better. So we now have it to where it aims very close to the center of the screen. So that's basically one way that you can go about correcting it. So let me delete these as they're no longer needed. And I will rename those. So delete that guy. I'm going to copy that name. Delete the tutorial M4. And rename our latest test to tutorial M4. So we're still not 100% centered. So if I were to add a widget here, you'd be able to see that. But basically what we need to do to resolve that is I added a little helper here. So we go to Animation Graph, Set Essentials, and Zoom In. And this will be a little bit different uh, for you possibly. Again, I'm going to be updating this. We have this Transfer Modify Bone for the head. And if we set the alpha to 1, watch what happens here. It noobs over just a little bit. But now when we aim, it is in the exact dead center of your screen. So we know that we are good to go. And you can ignore that it's moving the arms right to the center of the screen. I'll have I'll show you a couple of videos on changing that here soon. So we have a good aiming setup. Now one thing I want to fix really quick, this is also just depend on pro's process. You see how the reticle when I move around, it does all that hazy fuzz. That's due to motion blur. So if we select this purple guy here, that's our post process volume and search for blur. Here we have our motion blur settings. We just want to set everything to zero. So check it all and set it to zero. And now you can see when I move around, it is nice and crisp. It doesn't have that annoying, um, what you call it. it, doesn't have that annoying blur to it. So one more thing that I want to do before I start, before I stop this video is change the near clip plane. So for example, as you can see, I'm going down and I'm kind of in the stock. You can see I'm clipping through the stock, even though I'm not really in it. So I'm very close to it. So what I want to do is I want to go to settings, project settings, and under details, we're going to search for near clip, and you'll see near clip plane. Let's set this to something very small, like 0 0.01. Close it, save it. Then we're going to close the project down and reopen it. Okay, once we've reopened it, I'm just going to reopen the assets again. 
Now when we look at it, you can see I can get very close to these parts and I'm not actually clipping through until I go all the way through it. So I basically have to be intersecting it for that to make any effect. So now we have our aiming set up and we're good to go. We have it lined up to the dead center of our screen. Now this doesn't look the same on other clients. So what I'm going to do is actually set up the game mode in the next video and I'll show you what it looks like on other clients. And that's where we're going to talk about the stock offset. So that way you can position it to where other clients, it looks good for them. It's not going to be in the center of the screen for them. And I'll just show you what I mean, honestly, because it's, it'll, it's pretty self-explanatory once you uh, see it. So anyways, that's going to be all for this video and I will see you in the next one.